Let's wait for the recording to start. All right, cool. So good morning, everyone. It's uh, the 30th of September. It's our last stand-up for Batch 4. Really happy to have everyone here. We have a couple of announcements to get started. Um, I'm going to let Abu Bakr and ask Abu Bakr to go first. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? How's your night, Aaron? Uh, so um, we are going to be um, opening up a form that we would um, like everybody to fill. This form will serve, um, we want to get information as to what we were able to do right, what we get right, what um, area that we you think we should improve on, and um, the general feeling that you've gotten for, um, over the um, trainees. So we employ all, everyone to um, fill the form as soon as they can and then send it in. It's going to be um, anonymous, but then we still want you to fill it because it's uh, it's important for us to you know continue to grow as a as a ten academy and then uh, you know be part of the family. So we are op we will open it very soon and then we employ you guys to um, fill it. Thank you. Yeah, no, and then just to re-emphasize what Abu Bakr said, <clears throat> if our training was not perfect and it wasn't, then we want to know what we can do to make it better. So please let us know. We take your feedback very seriously. We integrated a number of comments from last time. Um, let's adopt the approach of, yeah, continuous feedback. So if you're unhappy, let us know. If we did something well, let us know. But taking this hour that we're asking everyone to invest and we would like everyone to invest an hour will pay strong dividends back for everyone else who's going to come after you because then we'll take that feedback and run with it um we have our graduation tomorrow but before yetiana says something about that due date is today uh regular 8 p.m time and i've sent a link and i've also shared a link to the telegram group tuesday at uh, this time so next tuesday at this time we will uh, have a what's next careers q a session so as mentioned our goal we don't finish here our training finishes here but our goal of getting everyone placed into a high impact job for the majority of people that process will continue we have as mentioned before one person with an offer we have a number of people who are interviewing some people are already worried about interviews which is good uh, it's good to prepare but uh yeah so tuesday careers q a um, and then on graduation, I'll hand over to Etienne. Etienne, are you there? Okay, could be that she's not here, so I'll go ahead. She can make the announcement at the end. Graduation's tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. UTC. Um, link will be, I think it will use the same one as now. Um, really important for all of us to celebrate together. Um, be ready to have your videos on, let's dress nicely, and let us celebrate uh, what we've achieved together. If you've come this far, then uh, it, I would say it's worth celebrating. I feel like celebrating, and I tend to be somebody who doesn't celebrate a lot. So, uh, yeah, today we wanted to do something different. So we're a little bit less interested today in Postgres and more interested today in two questions. We want to go around the room and inspired by this idea. Um, I'd read a quote, I couldn't find it this morning, but there was a quote I read from Andrew, uh, Andrew NG or Ng, I think it's pronounced, but I'm not sure, um, where he said, there's no point in comparing yourself to other people. The only thing you need to do is to see if you're making progress. Um, if you're doing, if you can do something more, or you're learn if you've learned something that you couldn't do last month. So it's not about comparing yourself to other people, but it's about seeing the progress that you as an individual have been able to make. So today we wanted to ask everyone, we're going to go around the room and ask everyone just to answer two simple questions. One thing you learned that you didn't know in June, and one piece of advice that you have for the rest of the trainees. And so I'm going to participate as well, but I'm not going to start. So let's go around the room. Um, we would like everyone to speak. So please put your hands up and then just unmute and speak. I'm sure you guys can organize this yourselves by now. You guys can also see the hands up queue. So let's let's get everyone to give their feedback. Once it doesn't have to be the most important thing that to learn. One thing you've learned and one piece of advice you would like to share with your fellow trainees. Okay, Michael, go ahead. 
All right, good morning once again. Well, for me, the major thing I'm taking away from this batch is um, just being there for each other. I mean, it, it doesn't matter how slow your progress would be. If you would be able to get at least two or three people up to half, half the level where you are, it's better than uh, crossing the line alone and then leaving the others languishing behind. And then also um, the advice that I would also give to my colleagues is but most of us come from different backgrounds. A lot of people will be doing so, so well, and you might be doing little comparatively. But as you said earlier, if you look at yourself, if you look behind from where you've come from, you will appreciate that you've made some progress. So little progress is a progress, and you shouldn't be so much concerned about making bigger steps. The little ones add up to, to make up the bigger ones. So uh, that's it for my end. And what's one thing that you've learned that you didn't know in June? Yes, one thing that I didn't know, um, particularly uh, DVC and then um, ML flow and yes, airflow as well. So I think I've, I've added up three things, yes. Great. Who's, who's next, guys? We want everyone to speak. We can just go quickly around the room. Chikinda, we have all the usual suspects going first, thank you. Okay, Chikinda and then Mubarak. Usual suspects. Usual suspects. <laughs> okay. Likelihood that you're within likelihood that you're within the first three to raise your hand is over ninety percent. Oh, interesting. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, for me, uh, what I have learned. Uh, okay, what are the questions? Let's see. One thing you've learned you didn't know in June. I've learned a lot of things. As I said earlier, I think 80% of what I know now, I've learned thanks to Chain Academy. I've learned DVC, ML Flow, I've learned, uh, I've learned a lot of things, actually. If I list them, I can't finish. And uh, what also I, I like about our batch is that there's uh, some sort of good competition where if somebody doesn't know something, you reach out and they help. In, in the beginning of of the of the batch, I used to reach out to people, and right now still, and we, we would help each other until midnight or until the time that everything was sorted. So I believe that is a good thing. And uh, one piece of advice I'll leave the rest of the trainees is uh, I'll tell them not to cry because it's over, smile because it's happened. So yeah, thank you. All right, we'll see that on Instagram in a couple of minutes. Jakinda, thanks. Mubarak? Good morning. Morning. Okay. Um, one thing I've learned since June, I mean, from that I do not know before you, is that uh, I can use tools that I've never used before and then get my work done. You know, right from the beginning, we've been using different things that I've never encountered before, like DVC, MFLU, DVT at home. And I can work with those things and I am able to do what I'm supposed to do with them. So that's very important for me. And then um, the advice I have for my colleagues is that we should just keep pushing. No matter what the situation might be, no matter how difficult things might be, we just keep pushing to so get better over time. Yeah. All right, thanks. Desmond and then Steshi. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that we are doing well and we are preparing for the graduation. Uh, well, uh, I have learned a lot during the past 12 weeks. And uh, I can say that uh, uh, basically almost 75% of what I now know in uh, machine learning, I attribute it to an academy and this fellowship. Um, uh, one thing, if I could sum up what I've learned is that uh, I have learned that I still have a lot to learn. Uh, and maybe one advice that uh, I'll give to uh, my fellow batch members is that uh, uh, it's not about uh, uh, how much you know, but uh, how much you are willing to learn more. So uh, I think I have been willing to learn more and. Uh, I, I have learned that through, uh, throughout this fellowship, and I can still uh, 
tell my fellow batch members that we, we still need to search for that knowledge. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Desmond. Steshi? Good morning. Morning. All right. So uh, I've actually had uh, one of the best times here at an academy, and uh, I've gained a lot of the technical ability uh, since June up to now. But uh, one, one thing that came to mind is uh, that when I graduated my undergraduate, we were told we've been given these powers to read. And uh, <clears throat> at that time, it was in passing. But uh, here at an academy, I've actually learned it's a real power and I can use it. Uh, one advice I have is uh, just I was listening to Oprah and she was saying for every action, there is a reaction. So for everything you do, the universe will, will give you back what you've done your same measure. So that's that's the advice I would give. For every action you do, there'll be a reaction. Super, thank you. Aaliyah, so I'm glad Oprah showed up because I was kind of concerned that we had a whole batch without Oprah. But thank you for bringing Oprah. Uh, she always has a lot of wisdom. Elias? Okay, morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, okay. Like, I've, I think I've learned a lot of the technical things in tool, but the main thing for me would be like, I've learned the value of presenting your work. Like, maybe it's not that big, the work you've done, but like presenting it, maybe in a blog, is really valuable. And also, I hope I'll continue doing that. And one advice would be like, I read it on a book, like space. If someone else is torturing you or beating you up, like some other people can help. But if you are doing that to yourself, then no one, no one can help. So like comparing yourself to some other people and putting unnecessary expectation on yourself would be like torturing yourself. So like, don't do that. Thank you. Thanks, nice, Elias. <clears throat> really good point. Um, who would like to go next? Deborah? Good morning, guys. Morning. Uh, yeah, I have an amazing and challenging time here at Ten Academy. I have learned like uh, many technical tools, but for me, what, what I learned the most was uh, just utilizing the resources you have effectively to get the uh, tasks done on time uh, and communication skills. Uh, one advice I would give to everyone here is just to show up. Even though you think your work is not good enough, you need to show up and present that so you can learn for the future. Excellent. Thank you. Michael Teckman? Uh, yes. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I have learned uh, throughout uh, my take in academic times is um, I wasn't good at like collaborating and like I have seen the effect of uh, collaborating with different teams and how fast you could complete the work that you have done and the things that you are stacked upon. Uh, in addition to the courses that I have taken, um, uh, it have helped me a lot. And I have made like an amazing friends and an amazing people that have helped me throughout my journey in, in the three months. Um, uh, and I want to thank to everyone uh, by the time that I have here. Um, uh, in addition to that, the advice I could give is um, I think uh, be bold. Being bold like helped me a lot. Uh, most of like most of the tools that I have used and most of the information that I have uh, understand from. Uh, my journey in Ten Academy is like I don't know most of them, and being bold like helped me a lot. So I guess uh, be bold is one of that as I have. Okay. Super. Thanks, Michael. Uh, who's up next? So everyone has to speak. So you might as well put your hands up. Be bold. Yeah. Uh, someone from the team. I just I'm, I'm just being the bold and I like the spirit, so I have to raise my hand and and keep doing it just instead of like a silence in the middle of fill the gap. And one I think the thing that I didn't know it's just how much people can take and how much they can grow. It's really amazing. It's like within 
you know, the conversations in June and, and the conversations that they are just from two planets, more or less. And one advice, I think there are there is a repeated one: be bold, uh, show up, describe your, your your work. I think these are really some things that I, I feel very much. Um, I I will also just kind of second and kind of want everyone to feel it. It's like if you don't feel it. Just ask yourself why don't you fit it? Just because it's really amazing. This is this is a spirit. This is a mindset, and this is the mindset I want you to leave. Just and continue into your further career. So, yeah, just wanna. I'm sure someone is gonna raise up their hand. Otherwise, I'm gonna speak. Continue speaking. There is no, no please, gonna somebody be please <laughs> save us. Save us. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be like lecturing so much. So help somebody. Help. All right, guys, let's get some hands up here. Yeah, Daniel, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, Ten Academy was really a great experience. Uh, it was really an intensive but very interesting uh, journey for me. I have learned a lot. Most of the technical skill regarding to data science, data engineering, and machine learning it was new for me uh, and I learned most of the things here at Ten Academy apart from uh, programming and uh, well, like for example now I think we are comfortable in using pandas to uh, process and analyze data sets uh, we have a solid experience in using different machine learning algorithms and using libraries like TensorFlow and Open um, TensorFlow and Scikit-Learn. So these skills I have developed it at Ten Academy and also the tools like DVC, MLflow, they were totally new for me. And also uh, at Ten Academy, I have learned that uh, I have gained a confidence in learning new things self in self-learning through online resource and collaborating uh, through online co community. These things I have learned at Ten Academy and uh, it built a confidence or uh, I gained uh, some level, I added some value on myself. Uh, so this is the thing I learned at Ten Academy. And also one thing I would uh, give uh, an advice is that always you have to try something if you didn't try any if you didn't try you didn't you didn't know your ability your you, you didn't know your capability and you have to make your hands dirty and you have you, you should start uh you should uh start to uh you should believe yourself and try to make your dirty try try to make your hands dirty and if you didn't try it, you wouldn't know your capabilities. These things I have learned at Ten Academy because, uh, especially on the first weeks, I was saying like, how could we do this? But uh, at week six, we did at week five, we did a speech to text module. That's very amazing to me. We didn't, uh, I didn't know I can achieve this with a two weeks period. And so I think anything is possible if we give the dedication and uh the what is that's all i have to say thank you Z Zalalan is up next and then Germain. okay good morning everyone morning okay so yeah like uh, all my colleagues said uh i've learned a lot regarding both the technical and non-technical skills so in the technical, uh, besides the, the basic things, I've learned uh, almost a lot. Even on the basic programming, I've learned a lot about logging and such things. So in, in, in each aspect, uh, I've learned a lot here. And in the non-technical part, I've learned a lot about like communication skills, like uh, career mindset, these things that I am developing, that I've got a lot better, I think. So there are a lot of things. And for the advice, I think uh, don't be afraid to start uh, to try new things. 
because n nobody knows uh, everything and it's going to be only new for the first one or two days then after that i think you are going to adapt and you're going to love it so don't be afraid to start new things that's what i have to say thanks a lot germain and then azaria yeah, good morning everyone good morning yeah I, i'm super excited to to be here on this end of our trainings it wasn't it wasn't easy at, at the start but at the beginning well i'm thinking the whole team members trainees of ten academy that we we've, we've reached the end our maybe our goal is being accomplished somehow and i've learned a lot of things from day one all technical tools to be used and one thing is that these trainings like cleared my path to to what i have to to pursue in my career and that's a good thing the other thing was social life living with different communities different cultures and work together to achieve something in common that was a good lesson too and another advice to to other to to the rest of the team is that go for that thing which scares you the most like that one which are you scared of, of because that one will make you grow bigger thank you thanks sure man <laughs> azaria and then blaze wait um morning everyone um okay so um from 10 academy i think like the best thing has definitely been the projects um so it's like i i'm not i'm not sure um, around eight or something projects that could actually be um put on our portfolio so that would that is definitely um a really good that was definitely a really good opportunity um and the i think the best thing that i've learned from 10 academy is to actually learn um <laughs> so uh, like how quick someone can learn and actually implement something was also really good and how quick um we can actually bring a product that can have an impact um within such a limited period of time um and my advice would be that would definitely be the same as what's been given so um know how to sell yourself um know how to sell your work um and also like there are a lot of opportunities out there and um being ready uh to actually take that opportunity um will help you grow a lot faster um so that, that that's it thanks azaria <clears throat> please oh, hi everyone i hope the everyone is doing okay yeah uh, i have to say i'm quite stoked to be here actually funny thing 12 weeks ago we were just probably here all of us and we're talking about oh what what expectations are 12 weeks to come and i think all of them exceeded so um definitely i've learned a technical aspect of it i feel like i came in as a vision uh how do you call it a uh, very junior uh developer in the field of data engineering and now i think i'm quite good at i look not quite good but i'll just say i'm actually i know things which I didn't know previously I feel like I've evolved myself like uh in terms of getting job ready I feel like I can actually do it you know yeah so with that said I'm just I'm also glad I got the chance to meet very amazing minds around Africa felt like I hope this will have been more physical like we get to see people and just interact with them every day the luck will have been much better uh apart from that I guess I'm actually I'll just leave with one something small I think uh I think one ad piece of advice is I think we have we have yet to begin to dream uh our largest victories are still to come uh our best days are still ahead and our thrilling, thrilling journey is still await the most thrilling achievements are still ahead yeah thanks guys thanks please Daniel to show me Daniel to show me Not sure if he's there. Um, okay, then we'll go to Christian. 
Christian Zanu and then Beza Wittelen. Morning, how are you? Oui, ça va. Okay, I, I learned a lot of things from Ten Academia, seriously, like tool for data engineering and machine learning engineer. And also, I, I'm also happy because I, I get also, uh, a part of learning, I get also good friends. And I know also people also with, you know, I, I get also uh, gifts people. Yes, and I know that tomorrow maybe if I get some issues, I can, I can read those, those those issues for for those people to to get help. And um, what I can advise for what 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 I can advise for uh, for the rest of the journey is just uh, to to keep pushing and to stay as we stay here as a community and to help each other. So thank you again. Okay, thank you. Nathanael Tishome, are you, are you able to speak? Okay, you're muted. Whenever you can speak, put your hand back up, please. Um, Beza Whitlin. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Um, can you hear me? Yes. We can hear Hello? you. We can hear you. Oh, okay. So, um, from the uh, from, let me start from what I learned. And actually, I think everyone mentioned every single thing that I actually want, wanted to mention. But the one thing that I want to emphasize is that, um, uh, like, I, I've been like I've been comparing uh, the five years I took on um, on my university stay, and then uh, the ten academy uh, training, like three months. And it's like, it's a big, a big difference. There is a big difference. Like I've been like, I've been like, it's just like, I think it's like one thing uh, is when you do, I, I have learned a lot on my five year stay, but I could have learned a lot in my five year stay. So uh, in three months, what Ten Academy teach me, I don't think that uh, my five years uh, stay on the university taught me. So anything um anything if you are interested to learn like one thing I, I know now is that you don't need a master you don't need a degree you just have to start and you have to be always curious to do the things you want and then collaborate ask people and like it's amazing that how one one person can come And then I will keep doing that because anything, if you are eager to learn, there is there is a resources you can ask. That's the thing I have learned. So asking people, trying to learn and like trying to do it yourself will make um, every every day and making like progress every day. So the stand-ups, everything like the, the, the project, like the interim submission, like it, it gives you the the limit to improve yourself every day, every day. So that's the one thing that I have learned and I have taken as a habit. Um, other than that, uh, the one thing I advise people is that there is no shame on not knowing one thing and keep asking and you will be good at that thing. Like if you, at the first you don't know, then like on some minute, on some time of the, trying to do that thing you will have um you will have the knowledge that is enough and like after that you can put yourself out and there is a lot of opportunity if people are going to take on that so trying to cope uh, yourself with every tools every technical and non technical uh, tools and then take the opportunities is what my advice other than that, thank you, everyone. I'm so happy to meet everyone. And I'm so happy that I'm ten, uh, I was a batch for training with Ten Academy. Thanks, Professor Wittlum. <clears throat> so who would like to go next? Not now, Tishomi. Hey. hey, everyone. 
Hi. Hey, I'm good. Uh, one thing I learned from uh, the academy is uh, technical skills, uh, which is uh, many technical skills again. Uh, be, uh, beside technical skills, uh, the non technical assignments also give me a good. Uh, understanding which is uh, by the way i appreciate the non-technical skills uh, and also uh, i gain uh, a lot of uh, skills uh, collaboration with others communicate with the pupils with pupils uh, this is the skills i gain uh, by comparing myself uh, before starting the ten academy it's a really huge uh, difference by uh, by my like again different skills uh, so one thing i have uh, advice for the team is never give up uh, always be positive this is what i have what i have why i have <laughs> okay i think uh Nathaniel's connection dropped um so we have Binyan who's written, who else would like to, I would also like to speak. So I think one thing I learned that I did know in June, and then we'll go to Fumbani, is how much, how capable, uh, it's how capable each of you is, or each of you are. Um, I mean, the, the inside story is also that whenever we had these technical challenges, Yeva Bell asked uh, each of our uh, corporate partners or people who were helping us to design the challenges, generally speaking, to make it as challenging as possible. And they, he took, for example, with this uh, PDAL, this USGS survey, they said, this is hard, this is really hard, and this is like crazy difficult. And he's like, let's go for crazy difficult. But the amount of progress that you were able to make, I didn't expect that. So it was really fascinating to see that. And the piece of advice, nothing much new to, uh, nothing much new to say, it's same as everyone else. Um, the hunger and the fearlessness um, is important, but I would also say each of you are here only because you decided not to give up. Um, and there were many other people who applied and who were part of the pre-training assessment week. And at some point they made a decision to say, you know what, I don't think I can do this or I don't want to do this. And they stopped. And everyone, each of the 47 people who are here decided not to give up. And from what we're hearing, it sounds like it was a positive outcome. So I would take these lessons um, and keep pushing ahead in the same spirit. So we're going for money. Now, hi everyone. Uh, one thing that I've learned that I did not know in June is that uh, I think you can do a lot in one week. <laughs> and it was like most of the projects have to be completed in one week. So yeah. And my advice would be uh, let's like let's not stop having that hangout to learn and uh, collaborating with others. And I think yeah, that's it. Okay, I think we have a handful of people who haven't spoken yet. I, there's Bethlehem, there's Kate, there is uh, Kevin, Malat, Abu Bakr, Abraham, I think that's, uh, and Amon. Otherwise, I think, and uh, Daniel Mukuzi, David Mukuzi. So if you haven't, or and Toyin, if you haven't spoken, please put your hand up. We want everyone to speak, please. <laughs> Daniel, Abraham just left the meeting. That's a good, that's a good approach. Okay, Tween. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I learned a lot, both technical and non-technical. Majorly technical, because I, I didn't really have a lot of experience with data science, and this really um, helped me. So I really, really learned a lot. Um, I think my advice would be to not give up, because like no matter what, like no matter how hard whatever you're doing is, don't give up. Just keep on going because there was a time when during the training when I was just tired and I thought I was not going to like make a uh, pull through. But thank God, like thank God I saw it through. Yeah, so don't give up. Thanks, Tuyen. Kate. Uh, morning, Arun. Morning. Um. So for me. It's been a bumpy ride. You know, there are times when I really, really didn't think I would make it to the end, but I'm really proud of myself and for everyone who's made it this far because it's it's been one hell of a ride. 
and I have gained so many skills. I remember telling Jakinda that in the first week I was so overwhelmed because we were being told to do basic programming skills like modularizing your scripts. And to me, it was so insane. I thought it was such a huge thing to just create like a script with all your functions in one Python script. And to me, that was such a big deal. And small things like using GitHub seemed so huge in my first week. And now I can use them like a pro. <laughs> so I'm really proud of the skills that I have learned. And um, one thing I tell in that future trainees is that don't give up just 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 make sure you finish it's one thing to start but the pride you feel for finishing something that you signed up for is the feeling is is really great so yeah i'm really proud thank you <clears throat> so who hasn't spoken yet we want everyone to speak amon still waiting for amon so amon bethlehem good morning good morning yeah, so first I must appreciate the time that I've had with uh, Ten Academy because I've really learned a lot. Uh, almost 99% the things that I know now, I learned from Ten Academy. Your, mo your mother will be angry if she hears that. <laughs> <laughs> She'll ask if she didn't teach you anything. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember the second week I had a call with uh, Yabi. <laughs> yeah, the journey was seemingly tough for me and uh, he really challenged me and i think that what gave me uh, power to move on up to this end now and i appreciate so much for that and uh, i've come to notice which will come as an advice to all of us that uh, there is a lot of satisfaction when you challenge yourself and then achieve yeah never postpone your problem work on it i remember some other days i could sleep only three hours two hours uh, just trying to get a certain concept and uh, I can see as an achievement today and I'm really proud of myself. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks, Amal. Bethlehem? Good morning, everyone. So morning. for me, it was a really great experience and I remember on the first day I was having a really hard time and I was having a doubt if or whether I want to continue this and if I would make it to the very end and of reality I'm also proud of myself that I made it this far and uh, the thing that made me to uh, just keep on and not give up on the early days is uh, there was the Abba speech at the second day of week zero I guess so he told us not to give up and just uh, to deliver what we managed to do and that was really helpful for me to Continue throughout the RC for the three months, and on. and even if you have to give up, don't do it on the first day. Just try to uh, do that for like a week or two, and then you are going to get comfortable with it, and it's going to be okay. So that's my advice. Apart from that, I have learned a lot. I have learned a lot of new skills. I think I now know uh, what I can, how I can use them, and. Yeah, thank you for the thank you. Thanks, Uh David, David Mukuzi. Uh, morning, everyone. Morning. I think uh, one thing I've learned uh, since June is the, how much you can grow over a period of three months, like everyone has said. I think if you, if you went back to June, you wouldn't uh, believe the amount of knowledge you've gained uh, since then. So, a piece of advice I'd also like to give everyone is just uh, what everyone is saying about uh, not giving up and just keeping, keeping to it, keeping to putting in the work so that you can achieve your dreams. Yeah. Thanks, David. So I think we have uh, Malet, Kevin, Abu Bakr, Yatiana, and uh, then I think Rachel and Eruslam are the last two that we haven't heard from. One thing I also learned, I have to say, while we're waiting for Kevin or Malet or Abu Bakr Yatiana to unmute, is how to say Smench's name. Because I first saw her name and I was scared of it. All right, Kevin, you want to go? Sure, sure. No problem. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to start. There's so much. <laughs> There's so much I'd say about... Just oh, one thing. You just need one thing. 
I just need one thing. Ah, okay, sure. Um, so um, this time I was seated on the other side. Um, Abu Bakr was saying I was seated on the back end of the training. And from this other time, from this other side, you get to see how much effort you guys are putting in and how much you guys are growing uh, throughout the whole period. Um, um, take it from me 100%. The way you guys joined in, I know the way you guys are living. You guys are better um, in coding style, not only in the technical side, but I, I'd like to believe you're better as people as well. Because now you've learned that you can go through fire and actually come out and scathe. And with that mentality, most of you are young and most of you are starting out on, are starting out on life. So with that mentality, you can just conquer anything and you can conquer everything. So everything that anything that comes in your way, just hold your head high and know that you've done it before and you're going to do it again. Yep, that's all from my end. Thanks, Kevin. Mal Malet? Okay, so there is a lot to say. Um, then this patch or patch four, they made a great progress, and you can see like um, a great improvement from week one to week twelve. So I can say that your journey is started now, and keep working and try to get more and more um, like effective and efficient work as you did in the Ten Academy in your work world. Thanks, Malet. Uh, Yatiana? Yatiana, are you there? No? Okay, we'll go to uh, yeah, Abu Bakr. Uh, just as everybody has been um, saying, I think, um, well, one piece of advice that I would uh, give to the trainers would be uh, don't procrastinate. Um, don't wait for, don't wait for the next day before you solve the problem. Solve it right now. As much as you, I mean, as much as you can get the one minute time, try to improve daily. Um, the pace at which you have been um, improving for the past 12 weeks might drop a little bit because you're not longer in the training. Try to be accountable to yourself. Uh, keep yourself accountable. And then as you move on and then you get this little, little um, improvement, make sure you do reward yourself and uh, take good care of your health. Okay, that's it. Great, thanks. Uh, Abraham? Okay, good morning. Morning. Okay, sorry for that. My connection was not stable. No problem. Okay, uh, I'll start with what uh, I have learned. Uh, actually, I can't express with, within a few minutes, uh, but the first thing is that I, I got the chance to work with different talented people, so multiple learning roles and industry designed into, into twin projects. So uh, this helped me to measure my technical and uh, non-technical skills. And also uh, I got a lot of technical knowledge, like working on MLOps, uh, uh, DevOps, uh, uh, natural language processing, working with different uh, visualization tools and ETL tools. So uh, these are some of uh, the things that I learned. Uh, finally, I, I want to thank Arun and Yabbal for daily motivation and all of my, our instructors and my Ten Academy trainee friends. So thank you very much. Thank you, Abraham. And last but not least, uh, I think the last person to speak is Rachel. I think everyone else is gone. OK, good morning. Morning. Okay, all I can say, um, I think to be like, I'm very grateful now to be part of Ten Academy. Uh, actually, it at the first time it was not that easy, but uh, I'm very thankful now. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone here, uh, especially Ten Academy, 
teams, how they kept to encourage us, how they told us to be collaborative, how to support each other. Uh, like I'm very grateful for what, like what you made us to be. Like all we have now, it's because of you. Um, it's been the praise for not growing like tools. It's not only for growing. Uh, I've seen ten of them as family, like how they cared to everyone. Yeah, I'm very proud now. I thank everyone who is here and you guys, you made this far. You have to be very proud of you. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you so much. Is there anyone else who would like to make a last comment? Otherwise, we'll wrap up the stand up. Um, everyone's working on their challenge. Next week, we'll pick it up. <clears throat> so today we have our uh, hand in. Survey will be released today. Um, we really appreciate the positive feedback. Super to hear um, the fearlessness that's grown in this group. And I would say from the discussions I've had with each of you, and also from the stand-ups, the maturity, um, there's, there's a huge change in level of maturity. So I'm proud that the technical skills, non-technical skills are fine but the mindset is what employers cannot find. And if we now have 47 people with this mindset of fearlessness and ability to take on any challenge and to communicate what can be, what can and what can't you do, and to say, I can do this, but I need this much time or I need to learn this first, and this is how I can collaborate. That's, uh, it's not just useful, that gets you onto the global stage. So really, really happy to see that. But we do need everyone's feedback uh, so that we can learn. We know we didn't do everything perfectly. We've made tons of mistakes along the way. So please take, give us an hour of your time um, and complete the survey. Uh, next Tuesday, same time, same place, we're going to be running an open Q&A session on what's next. Um, I would encourage everyone to attend. But the major uh, takeaway, I would say, as we finish up, as we have our last stand-up, is this should not be goodbye. The training is over. We still have a lot of um, work that we can do together. And you can always reach us, uh, email or telegram or whatever other mechanisms, but yeah, you know where to find us. So with that, uh, if anyone have any last points to say, anyone from the team want to make a contribution? Anyone else? Otherwise, we will wrap up. I'm gonna stop recording. And yeah. Okay.